Oh, boogie right. man Ben coming round the band is boogie man Ben. Is boogie man Ben. Greetings my fellow Fright Beans and thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video is going to be a book review. Um, this was a book I got back in December of last year. I did a video on it on December 6th of last year and I talked about it was a book that I was going to dive right into making it sound like I was really going to do a review really, really, uh, you know, soon after. Uh, it took me six months. I was finally able to read this book and uh, just because I had been going through something and I just needed to get away from social media and uh, work and my computer and my everything. I just wanted to just read this book and I read it in literally two hours. So it's called Oh Mother What Have You Done? The Making of Psycho 2. It's, it's written by Tom Holland, Andrew London, the editor on the film, as well as excerpts from the memoir of the late great Richard Franklin who directed the film. Um, this is a terrific book. Not only does it have Tom Holland's recollection of what went into making Psycho 2 and the obstacles that they faced, but also Richard Franklin's memoirs detail, you know, just what was the influence, how they went and structured the story, um, shooting the film, getting Anthony Perkins to commit to it. Um, there's some terrific moments in this book. There's a total of 11 chapters and each chapter uh, talks about just, you know, what stakes they went to to recreate, you know, some of the most iconic sets and uh, props from the original Psycho. There's great behind the scenes pictures um that are absolutely fantastic there's also amazing production material like the index cards uh samples of the index cards that they use there's storyboards and screenplay excerpts and even going so far as the minute details of the shooting schedule um cannot recommend this book enough to fans of this film and it really is touching because there's moments in this um where tom holland talks about how you know the movie was a huge box office hit and then it was kind of forgotten through the years and he brings up Rob Galuzzo's Psycho Legacy which came out in 2010. Rob approached Tom Holland to do an interview and that's when Tom Holland realized that the film was still viable, that there were still fans of it out there. Um, and uh, yeah, this film has always meant a lot to me So, and that's why I'm so eternally grateful for the Psycho Legacy documentary which is my favorite horror documentary of all time and always has been, has been since I saw it back, uh, you know, 14 years ago which is crazy. It also features an afterword by Anthony S. Cipriano who was responsible for the Bates Motel television series and said a lot of the inspiration came from Tom Holland's script for Psycho 2 and Psycho 2 in general. So that's really cool to read about because I loved that series. I thought it was fantastic and really I could see how it was paying homage to this awesome sequel. Um, uh, it's sad that we lost Richard Franklin. He passed away in 2007 of prostate cancer, but it was great to, you know, see the details of just how he went about approaching this daunting task of you know, him and Tom Holland both approaching this daunting task of making a sequel to the most one of the most iconic uh, horror films ever made. Um, so between this and uh, what I focused on last year, the screenplay, both of these can be found on Tom Holland's Terror Time. Um, I definitely recommend uh, both of them to fans of Psycho 2. I will put a link down below to Tom Holland's Terror Time so you can pick the books up. Um, absolutely brilliant film, a film that I never get tired of watching, a film that means so much to me as a big part of my childhood and growing up to become I'm a horror fan the best sequel of all time so yeah psycho 2 brilliant film brilliant books tom holland's a master um thank you so much everyone for watching and i promise i will talk to you again real soon take it easy stay scared as always Hey, my fellow Fright Fiends, I just want to thank everyone for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I try to drop a video at least once or twice a week. Uh, the Horror Zone is a passion of mine, and it really makes me happy that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.